Hi, welcome to Eileen Huga Yoga. And today I had a short run, walk, run outside. <laughs> and it's so very, it made me happy. It was the first time that I was able to step out again after a long time being cooked up in my unit. And today, if you see, I have no plans today because they are also getting their sunlight, whatever sun that is outside right now, because <laughs> it's a Monday. It's their um, break from video shooting my plants. So for today, that's just the, that's not the intro for the class for today. Um, it's day 22 in my 30 day yoga challenge. And today, since I ran outside, we're gonna have a post run yoga. And I know a lot of you are doing running outside and that's your means of staying active so for today i'll give you some yoga poses that you can work on after running let's start first with the breath always let's start with the breath for now and after a run Let's settle down our body, our mind, and as well as our breath. If your heartbeat is still racing from running, let's start to mellow down your heart rate by just breathing smoothly and extending the breath as well. Let's take a deep breath, inhale through our nose. Exhale with your mouth open. Inhale through nose. Exhale with your mouth open. One more. Inhale through nose. Exhale with your mouth open. And then from here, start to breathe in through your nose. Inhale. Keeping the lips closed. Exhale through your nose. And the good thing about learning to breathe in yoga is that we also become more aware of how you breathe in other forms of exercises. So just continue to be aware of the breathing. Feel your inhales and your exhales. And feel how your lungs expand 3D. So not just front and back, but also at the side. So you're a three-dimensional being. So expand your breath three-dimensional. And then exhale and feel how your body reacts on an exhale. So as you continue to breathe here, feel how it also affects the rest of the body, not just your lungs, but also the rest of the body. What happens when you inhale and what happens when you exhale? Now, as you breathe here, start to also feel how it affects your heart rate. Maybe your heart rate starts to slow down when you slow down the breath. And then creating this much awareness with what's happening in the body would actually help you bring mindfulness in your breath and into your body. When you're ready to open your eyes, if your eyes were closed, start to blink them open. And let's start to stretch. Okay. So coming from a very active pose, we'll go through the active positions first and then we'll slowly slow down. So we'll keep on moving. Let's bring our hands down towards the mat. Spread the fingers. Please don't mind my sweat. I think I'm so sweaty. Oh no, dried up already. <laughs> Let's inhale, head up, chest up. Broaden your collarbone. Oh, a lot of cracking. Exhale. 
exhale, rounding your back, pulling the belly in. Inhale, head up, chest up, broaden your collarbone, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, rounding your back, pull the belly in. Last three, inhale, head up, chest up, feel the stretching of your spine. Exhale, rounding your back. Last two. Exhale. Inhale. A lot of popping sounds today. Exhale. Okay, and then from here, let's step the right foot back. As we step the right foot back, can we point our toes more forward so that we can feel the stretch on your heels? You can move your hands a little bit forward. As you move your hands forward, try to round your back and then press your heel down to feel the stretch on your calf muscles. You, your calf muscle. You can wiggle your heel side to side. And then notice that when you wiggle your heel side to side, you also feel the stretch starting to shift. And breathe. <laughs> okay, and then from there, walk your hands back under your shoulders and then step the right foot towards the outside of your left foot. From here, we're going to push away from your uh, from the from the floor and then look over your left shoulder, looking at your right foot, making sure you're pressing that right foot firmly onto the mat. And then as you put pressure on those right toes, you're going to push your hips towards the right side and you will feel the stretch on the side body maybe you can also feel it on your hips move your hips back to center and then exhale push your hips towards the side look towards your foot move your hips back to center oops oh yeah you can hear me there i can hear you also i have to open that and then push your hips towards the side. Look at your foot. One more. Push your hips towards the side. Look at your foot. Breathe. And then from here, let's bring the right foot outside the right hand. As we bring the right foot outside the right hand, we're going to slowly lift the toes up and then start to circle the hips around just to introduce movement again towards your hips. If you have blocks or anything that would help you stretch later, you can use your blocks so that you'd be able to reach the floor. And then go circle the other way. Okay, from here, straighten the right leg and then pull the chest forward. You can wiggle your hips side to side. As you wiggle your hips side to side, you can turn your toes in and out, internal, Externally from the hip joint, not just the knee, not just the um, ankles, but the entire leg. Try to wiggle it side to side. And you will feel that the stretch starting to shift as well. From here, you can also flatten your foot, pull the chest forward, and then you can start to feel also the stretch on the top of your foot. You can also wiggle your foot side to side, little movement by and keeping your right big toe flat on the floor, the more that you'll be able to feel the stretch on the top of your foot. Okay, from here, we're gonna walk. Okay, I'm just gonna walk so that I can, you can see me. And then extend my right leg out to the side. So from here, you're just gonna extend that right leg out to the side. And you're gonna rock your body Forward and back, forward and back. This time, we're just shifting the stretch towards your inner thighs. And then go as low as you can and walk your hands back. And breathe. Feeling the stretch all the way to your ankles. And then you can also flex the foot and then pull the foot in so that you also feel the stretch on the inner part of your ankle. Now, if you're not capable to keeping this knee straight and it starts to bend, it means you're way past your mobility range. So, I think my English is bad there again. <laughs> your range 
Yeah, so try to fit, try to move your hips forward and go as far where it is not painful for you. But if it's okay for you, you can go as low as you can. And then from here, come back. And we're gonna bring that left hand up. Oops, as far as your body goes. So you feel a lot of the stretch on your inner thigh. And then exhale, thread your hands around. Again, yeah, left hand up. Exhale, thread your hand through. Left hand up. Exhale, thread your hand through. Oh, I'm so tight today. <laughs> and then you can also stretch here your shoulder. Okay, from there, bring your hands back down. Let's bring the right knee back. And then left foot outside the left hand. Oh, sorry. Left foot back. My bad. <laughs> I got disoriented. Left foot back. Let's move your left toes. Oh, that's the difference of air pod. <laughs> Let's move your toes forward and then press the heel down. Feeling the stretch on your ankles, wiggling it side to side. <clears throat> As you wiggle your heel side to side, you also feel that the stretch also shifts as you wiggle it side to side. High rate then. And then from here, let's bring the left foot across your right foot. Press it down firmly onto the floor. And then you're going to look over your right shoulder so that you feel the stretch on the left side of your body. And then slowly come back to center. Swing your hips to the left. Look towards your foot. And then come back to center. This is a very tight part for my body. Look over. And then come back. Feel a lot of stretch. Look towards your foot and stay. Breathe. Okay, from there. I took a moment there. Feels good. Left foot outside the left hand. Move the right knee back. Lift up. Lift your left toes and then start to circle your hips around. As you circle the hips around, you can circle the other way as well. And then from here, we're going to slowly straighten that left leg. Flex that left foot into your half split so you can start to stretch your ankles, your hamstrings. You can use a block blocks under the hands or anything that would help you um, touch the floor or reach for the floor because some of us um, if you're feeling tight today and then you can wiggle your entire left leg internally and externally so that internal external that's it, internal external rotation so that you feel the shifting of the stretch as well at the back of your leg left leg and then you can flatten your foot down pressing the big toes especially down to the floor so that you feel the stretch now starting to shift towards the top of your foot if this is the first time you ever stretch that part it's gonna feel a lot and then you can also wiggle your foot side to side as you do that you can also feel the, sh the stretch starts to shift on the top of your foot breathe Okay, now, from here, we're going to bring the left leg out to the side. I did it sideways earlier. And then from here, you can bring your hips as low as it is not painful on your inner thigh. This is a good stretch for your inner thigh. But once it starts to become too painful on the knee, go as far as your body allows you. So it's a big stretch for your inner thigh. And then go as low. You can also flex the feet. A uh, feet. Foot. <laughs> flex that foot so that you feel the stretch now on the inside of your uh, ankle. Inner side of your ankle. Okay, come back up. Okay, bring your left knee down. Let's come to your downward facing dog. Oh, see? I'm not used to this. <laughs> 
How did I do that? Ah, right hand up. Right hand through. Right hand up. Oh, right hand through. So many popping sounds today. Right hand up. Right hand through. Press the shoulder down. Feel the stretch on the shoulder. Hips, breathe. Okay, bring your hand down, right hand down towards the back, left knee down, all right, this time let's come to your downward facing dog. Go ahead, pedal your feet in your downward facing dog, try to bend your knees first, lift the hips and push it towards the back. Oops, my ear. As you push it towards the back, press your, try to push your hands forward to the front of your mat as you slowly press the feet towards the back of the mat. So imagine you're sliding your hands forward and your feet are sliding backwards. Now, when you're able to push your hands forward and you're pushing your feet back, try to lift the hips up as much as you can. Slowly pressing the heel down, feeling the stretch, and then switch. Okay, let's bring the right, lift the right foot, Reduce it towards your left heel and then press the heel down using your toes and pushing your hands forward. So you feel a lot of the stretch on your ankles. Let's switch to the other side. Especially for those whose heels are still lifted, this is a good way for you to stretch your ankle so that we one day, maybe, one day and hopefully, if it's possible for your body, your feet will be flatter on the mat. But if it doesn't, your feet doesn't get flat, it's okay. Sometimes it just doesn't gonna happen. Okay. And then take a deep breath in your downward facing dog. Let's lift the right leg up. Open the right hip. Bend your knee. Press your heel to your buttock. And then feel the stretch on the opening of your right hip. From here, let's slide the right foot into your pigeon. And then slide the left knee back. Lift the chest up, inhale, and then we're going to walk our hands forward into your sleeping swan. Feeling the stretch on your glutes. Okay, from there, walk your hands back. And then, step the right foot back into your downward facing dog. This is the other side, left leg up. Open the left hip to the left side. Feel the stretch of the front of your left hip. And then from here, left knee forward behind your left wrist and then left foot out to the side into your pigeon wiggle your hips side to side try to find the internal rotation for your right hip and flex that foot so you can protect your left knee keep your foot active and then breathe through this stretch Also go all the way down to stretch your glutes. Okay, and then slowly walk your hands back, right knee up, left foot back, downward facing dog. From here, we're gonna slowly bring our knees down. As we bring our knees down, we're going to sit down on our heels. Some of us might have very tight quads. If you have very tight quads, sitting down might be hard already. You'll be just here. You can sit on blocks. Now, only if you do not have knee issues. Yes, there are many kinds of issues. 
and your knees can have issues too, you know. <laughs> so if you have knee issues, like any other issues, do not try to force things. <laughs> okay, when you have issues, do not ignore the issues. You need to acknowledge the issues, just like in life, okay? So you have to be gentle when you have issues, okay? But if you don't have any knee issues, you can slowly walk your hands back and then press your toes down and you're going to slowly lift the knees up and this is to stretch your ankles as well. Breathe. Only if you don't have knee issues because this is a lot of stretch also for the quads. Okay, you can also lift the chest up. The more that you lift the chest up, the more that you will feel the stretch in your ankles. You can round your back and feel the difference when you do cut and down here. Okay, now you can bring your knees down and then starting to stretch also your quads, bringing your hands behind you, slowly lifting the hips up and then pulling the belly in, feeling the stretch on the quads and then try to Lift your pubic bone towards the navel so you feel the stretch also on your hip flexors. This is also a good stretch for your chest, for your shoulders, and breathe. Okay, so you bringing your hips down. And then from here, we're just going to leg straight, feet apart. As we bring our legs straight in, come to bring your feet apart. Let's reach our hands up. This is one of my favorite poses nowadays. And then let's start to fold. Wiggle, wiggle your hips, wiggle your body side to side. And then start to lower yourself down some more <laughs> if there's any space. But if you're just here, try not to bounce and force your weight to go down. I see a lot of um, people who love to bounce in this pose. Don't bounce. Stay put. Breathe through the stretch. Focus on the exhale. And then you will notice how it will your body would react. Okay, from there, we're going to slowly walk back, bring our feet together. As we bring together our feet, you can hold it. You can also let it open and feel the stretch on your air thigh and then walk as far as you can. And you can also do some little um, movements with your spine and hopefully that would also help in opening up the hips some more. You don't have to be steady. You can just wiggle your body side to side and feel the difference. Okay. And then you're done for your yoga. You can cross your legs here or you can rest in a Shavasana. Anything that would make you feel comfortable that's entirely up to you. For now, for me, I will just come to a seated meditation just to finish the practice. Taking this time to be grateful. Taking this time to feel how my muscles have been engaged and at the same time, how I've given them the care that they needed after that um, asking them to perform in a room by stretching them out. Let's bring our hands in front of our heart. If you're still seated, otherwise you can just be still and lie down on the floor. Taking three deep breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Namaste. How 
how are you guys? Thank you for joining me in the practice. For those who love the run, that's a good way for you to do your stretching and practicing your breath after running. I hope to see you again. Always celebrate your little wins. That's what I can tell you. I know it's a Monday and you may have a lot of things that in your mind, but whatever triumphs you get for the day, make sure to celebrate them. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you again maybe later. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Thank you for practicing yoga with me. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out more yoga videos and follow me in my Facebook and Instagram.